Welcome to Edipedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. I am Upeka Vendibona and from this episode we are going to show you how to draw logic gated diagrams for an electronic circuit as well as for a Boolean algebraic expression. Now take a look at this electronic circuit. From the letter E, it represents the battery. From the letter Y, it represents the lamp. And letters A, B, C represents three switches. In this circuit, the lamp Y will glow if C is on and either A or B or both are in the on state. By using this information, we need to draw the logic circuit. And before that, we need to obtain the Boolean algebraic expression for this circuit. Now let's try to do that. Now for current to be passed through on this area, the switch A need to be turned on or else the switch B need to be turned on or else both the switches could be turned on. Now if we represent the behavior of switches A and B in a truth table, you will obtain a truth table like this. In the input columns A and B, the value 1 represents the switch is on, the value 0 represents the switch is not on. In the output column, the value 1 represents the current is passing through and the value 0 represents the current will not be passing through. In the first row of the table, it says both the switches are not turned on. Therefore, the current will not be able to passing through that area. In the second row, the switch A is not turned on but the switch B is turned on. Therefore, the current would be able to pass in through the switch B. And in the third row, the switch A is turned on but the switch B is turned off. Therefore, the current would be able to pass in through the switch A. In the last row, both of the switches are turned on. Therefore, the current would be able to pass in through both of those switches. Now, this truth table we had obtained is familiar for us. If you can remember, the O gate, it has the same truth table like this. Therefore, the switch A and B represent the O gate. To be further moved on, let's consider both A and B as a one component D. And now, let's see what is the relationship between D and C. Now, for current to be passed on through this area, it is necessary that both the switches need to be turned on. Therefore, in the truth table, only the last row can be have the value 1. All the other rows will have the output value 0. Now this truth table have the same behavior as in the AND gate. Therefore D and C represent an AND gate. Now here we have our Boolean expression within the parentheses A plus B and then dot C equals Y. Okay, now let's try to represent this in a logic circuit. First we have to write down our inputs A, B and C. And then using the A and B as the inputs to a O gate, we represent the A plus B, what's inside in the parentheses. Then this output is inputted into a AND gate with the input C to represent the final output A plus B dot C. So this is how we could draw the logic gate diagram for the given electronic circuit. As we did before drawing the logic gate diagram, it is beneficial if you could obtain the Boolean expression of the electronic circuit. Now the next thing is drawing the truth table of the Boolean expression. The first step is identifying the columns of the table. So the first columns are the inputs. So here it is A, B and C. And then if you like you can have the intermediary steps. The final column is the final output. Now the second step is finding out the number of rows of the table. So for that we can use the formula 2 to the power of n n means the number of inputs. In here there are three inputs a, b, c. So the formula gives you 2 to the power of 3. That means 8. So there are 8 rows in this table. Okay. Now the third step is filling out the values for the input columns. So for that take the first column and take the first half of the rows and fill it with zeros. And for the other half fill it with ones. And then go for the second column, the column b. Take the rows where the previous column filled out with zeros. From those rows, select the first half of the rows and fill it with zeros and for the second half of the rows, fill it with ones. Repeat the same process for the rows where the previous column is filled up with ones. 
and now go for the third column the column C select the rows where the previous column have the first set of zeros and from those rows fill the first half of the rows with zeros and the second half of the rows with ones repeat the same process for the rows where the previous column have the first set of ones and do again for the rows where the previous column have the second set of zeros and second set of ones with this kind of a pattern we can easily fill out all the combinations that we can have with zeros and ones if you look at the table very carefully you can see there are no repeated combinations each row represent a unique combinations of values for the a b c good now the next step is obtaining the output values in here there is intermediary step a plus b so whenever the inputs a or b have the value 1 it will gives the output 1 for this intermediary step so these rows will gives you the output 1 for the intermediary step and the next logic gate is the AND gate so here whenever the intermediary step input have the value 0 or for the input C have the value 0 the output will gives you the value 0 so this is how we can draw a truth table for a given boolean expression now take a look at this example here we are given a boolean algebraic expression and we have to draw the logic circuit for that here we can say there are four groups in this expression because of the lowest precedence operator plus the first group is a dot b dot c the second group is a bar dot b dot c the third group is a dot b bar dot c the fourth group is a dot b dot c bar now let's try to draw each group take the first group a dot b dot c here we need an AND gate to connect a b c and for the second group here it uses the a bar that means before connecting the a b c we need to have the complement of the a so for that we need the NOT gate same goes with the third group and the fourth group for the third group it uses the b bar that means the NOT gate is in the b line and for the fourth group the NOT gate is in the c line okay now the first AND gate will output a dot b dot c the second AND gate will output a bar dot b dot c the third AND gate will output a dot b bar dot c the fourth AND gate will output a dot b dot c bar now the next step is sum up these products so for that we need to use an O gate now this O gate input our four groups and sum them up and gives us our expression so that's how you can draw the logic circuit for the given boolean expression and remember there is no restriction on how many number of inputs that we can have on an AND gate and on an OR gate so here for the AND gate we had used 3 inputs and for the OR gate we had used 4 inputs so you can have many number of inputs but for the NOT gate it can have only one input you should always remember this fact when you are drawing the logic circuit now let's try to draw the truth table for this expression like as I mentioned previously we can make the structure of the truth table and then fill out the input values of the input columns and then for the intermediary steps actually we do not need to analyze each and every intermediary steps let me show you why is that in this expression the four groups are connected with the plus operator the O gate that means whenever a group have the value 1 it will give the final output value 1 and also if we consider a one group the three inputs are connected with the AND gate that means whenever the input have the value 0 the group will output the value 0 now by considering these two facts we can easily fill out the column Y let's start with the last row because it is the easiest row to understand this first all the three inputs have the value 1 now according to the first group it will output the value 1 therefore the whole expression will output the value 1 now let's go for the seventh row here the input C is 0 if we can have the complement of the input C then this group will give the output 1 now in the fourth group it uses the complement of the C so in that group it will output the value 1 for the row 7 therefore the whole expression becomes 1 now let's go for the sixth row here the input B is 0 therefore if we can have the complement of the B then this group will have the output 1 
So the complement B is used in the third group. So the third group will give the output 1. Therefore the wall expression will give the output 1. Now let's go for the fifth row. Here both the inputs B and C have the value 0. But we doesn't have any group having the B complement and C complement both. Therefore this row will give the output 0 for the wall expression. Now let's go for the fourth row. Here the input A have the value 0 and we have the group A bar in the second group. Therefore the second group will output the value 1. So the wall expression will give the output 1. Now for the third row it doesn't have any related group as well as for the second row. And for the first row, all the values are 0. Therefore, the output, the final output would be also 0. So that's how we can fill out this truth table without checking each and every intermediary step. When you get more familiar, you will learn these kind of tactics to fill out the truth table very easily. If you need to check the correctness of this truth table, you can go on with all these intermediary steps. And that's all what we got here in this episode. In this episode, we mainly consider on how to draw the logic circuit for a given electronic circuit and for a given Boolean expression and also we learned how to draw the truth table. In there, we learned little techniques and tactics on how to make them very easily. So thank you for watching and see you from the next lecture on propositional logic. Stay tuned on with Edupedia World.